Hi everyone. Let me make sure the camera. All right. It's been a long time since we've done a video. Okay, I think we're good. Hello, hello. Happy New Year's Eve. It's um sorry. I want to make sure that I can see comments when they come in, so I'm just trying to adjust my camera. All right, I think I think we're good. Let me just move this up a little bit. All right, I think we're good. Hello. All right, let me get to a few announcements before we get to the cards because it's been so long since we have talked. Um, remember, if you need to order any products, um, use this host code, shop at my online store. Um, this is the final, final call for holiday catalog products, um, year end closeout products, all of those things. Um, you can only order those through January 2nd. January 3rd, this Friday, our new catalog, where is it? Let me grab mine. Our new catalog goes live along with celebration on Friday, January 3rd, and I will be doing another Facebook Live on my business page for that one. So that you join me for that. It's going to be a big kickoff. Friday, I have my order ready to go in. Friday, it's, it's a big order. It's going to be so much fun. I hope you join me. Celebration is the best time. We're going to talk a little bit about celebration as we get crafting, but... Um, just a final call if you want anything for the from the holiday catalog. All those retiring products um, will not be available after Thursday. So make sure that if there's anything that you've been holding out on, Thursday is your last call for that. Now, um, one more thing that I want to remind you, and then we're going to come back to this. But let me tell you one more thing. I got December's Paper Pumpkin, and it was... It was one of my favorite ones of the year, I think, and I already made all the cards. And I made them, it was just one of those crafting nights where I just needed to craft, but I didn't want to really go crazy. So I made all of my cards exactly as they said in the, in the book, but there were 12 cards. There was four of each of these three designs, plus the matching envelopes. So Paper Pumpkin is such an amazing deal. Look how beautiful these cards are. These are all like goil, or coil, gold foil. Um, and then it came with like these beautiful like gold gems. Beautiful. Um, let me put that back before it falls. But just beautiful, beautiful cards. And they were a lot of fun. The stamp set that it came with, let me hold one of these up. The stamp set that it came with was huge. And it had, it has greetings for almost everything. So this is a great, great stamp set. So I'm really glad to have it. But you don't want to miss out on Paper Pumpkin. All the Paper Pumpkins this year have been pretty phenomenal. I have been really happy with all of the Paper Pumpkins this year. Um, January's Paper Pumpkin is going to be Valentine's themed, which is always popular. I always love the Valentine ones. They're always really cute. So make sure that you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and there's a link to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin in the video description. So make sure you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin so you don't miss January's kit. You need to subscribe by January 10th, which will be here before you know it, you guys. I know we're not even in January, but it'll be here before you know it. All right, back to celebration. I can't show you the insides of any of these catalogs yet. If you don't have a demonstrator and you want some catalogs, let me know. Send me a message and I will, um, oh, I can't, I almost showed you the inside. Um, and I'll get one in the mail for you. I'll get you one of each in the mail. If you don't have a demonstrator and you want one, just send me a message if you're in the United States. I can only ship in the United States, so make sure you do that. Celebration, if you're new or you don't know what celebration is, Everything in this this brochure you earn for free. And one of those products we're going to talk about that you're going to earn for free. You earn for free with a $50 order. There are some level two items in here which you will earn for free with a $100 order. But basically everything in here is free. You don't buy it. You just earn it for free. Um, and then this amazing, amazing catalog. It will be easy to get to $50 and $100 with that catalog. Let me grab one thing that I forgot to grab. I want to make sure that I show you. I'm looking for it real quick. Bum, bum, bum. Where is it? Oh no. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you because I don't know where it is. Oh yes, I do. It's right here. <laughs> I put all my celebration stuff separately from my other stamp sets, which is why I couldn't find it. All right, let's get to the project today because clearly, you know, it's Christmas. <laughs> the kids are home. It has been crazy. This is the card we're making. Isn't it adorable? I love, love, love this card. So the stamp set that we're using on this card is this adorable stamp set, Witty Sisms. This is in the mini catalog. So this is available. You will be able to purchase this one. And you guys, I got to say, this was first on my wish list because it is just so stinking 
Taco Bell Awesome. Looking sharp. This is the one we're using today. Thank you very much. My son is actually using this right now to make his thank you cards from Christmas. Max and Chinchilla out. Welcome, little one. You did it. Wow, that went fast. I mean, this has something for every single occasion. This is a great, great one to have. And it's just, it's funny. It's cute. I love it. So we are going to use... We're going to use the cactus. We're going to use the looking sharp one. But this layout that we're using, you could use for any of those. Any of them will work. You maybe just change the colors a little bit, but you can use it for anything. And this is such a fun, simple layout. You're going to love it. <laughs> I forgot to grab one more thing. Hold on, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. I thought I was so organized. And I was like, I'm going to start cutting for my class next week. And... Clearly, I should have spent some more time getting organized, but alas, here we are. All right, so let's get to, let's talk about our supplies real quick. So we already talked about the stamp set. Inks that we're going to use, we're going to use this stamp. Inks that we're going to use, we're going to use Memento because we're going to color it with blends. And I am using, I'm using Granny Apple Light and Dark. I'm using Pool Party Light, and then I'm using Flirty Flamingo Dark. And I'll talk about the Flirty Flamingo in just a second. So the, that is our ink supplies. Um, paper supplies. I have a Flirty Flamingo card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it. I'm really hoping that I have it here. I'm starting a piece of on my desk based on how prepared I am. Um, I have a piece of Bright's DSP. This is from our Bright's pack. This is the Flirty Flamingo, and this is, oh gosh, three by four and a half, I believe. Let me remeasure it. Yeah, it's three by four and a half and I'm using that gingham pattern because that is my favorite pattern and this is the flirty flamingo from the brights and then I have a piece of basic black which is three and one eighths by four and five eighths so it's just going to give just a slight little border just like a hair of a border um, I just really wanted something to set it apart on the card base because when I set it just on the card base I thought it just blended in too much so just a little tiny border just to set it off just a little bit Okay, I have a two, oh gosh, is this two inch? You know what, it's not. I used the layering circles dies for this. And now, now it's all coming back to me. I used the layering circles dies to cut this and also one in basic black. I used a scallop circle. So just find the one that best fits your image, depending on which image you use. Um, I'm, I'm not even going to guess which layering image, which layering circle this is because yeah there's no way I could tell you the right one so just find the one that matches your image and then I have a piece of granny apple green which is one and a half by three and a half and can you see that embossed pattern on there isn't that amazing it's so beautiful this is probably going to be my most used and embossing folder for the next three months so just to prepare you guys it's going to be it's going to be well used and I don't even know the name of it. Let me look that up real quick. So it is in the celebration catalog and I'm going to show you what you earn from it. It is bundled with another product. Let me see. It's the stone 3d embossing folder and it is by far my most favorite embossing folder that I've used in a while. In celebration, <coughs> excuse me, it comes bundled with this power of hope stamp set. Isn't this beautiful? I really love these greetings. Hope is the power that makes all things possible. I think that's a really beautiful greeting that you can use. Um, so it comes bundled with this. It's a $100 celebration product that you can earn. So you need to spend $100 to earn this um, bundle for free. But I'm telling you guys, this embossing folder, it's completely worth it. You're going to get a ton of use of it. So this is the embossing folder I used. We're not using the stamp set today, but we are using that embossing folder. And you get it as a as a bundle of two. It's a celebration item. You can only get it as that bundle. Okay, so now that we have all of our products talked about and we are using some Baker's Twine and some sequins and stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute. Oh my gosh, that it just fell. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have such a hot mess today. We may have to come up with a better solution. My little rhinestone just flew off of my flower. Did you see that? So we have to use some um, liquid glue or something to hold that down. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's get to all the stamping. This is going to be a rough video, I can tell you. This <laughs> guys, it is, you know that time in Christmas break where you're just like, I have no idea what day it is. And, and the kids are going crazy. My daughter just followed me around all morning going, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. I'm bored. So that's where we are in Christmas break right now. Um, yeah. 
kids are off until they go back next Tuesday too. So they're off for another full week. It's Tuesday, right? I think it's Tuesday. <laughs> I have, see, I have no idea. Um, looking sharp. Isn't that good? So it's just, it's one of those, these are the things we'll remember, right? So I'm going to do some coloring. I'm going to color with the dark granny apple green. I'm going to start with that. Uh, there are a million ways to color with blends. You can start light and go dark. I like to start with my dark. I love this stamp set because it very clearly gives you all the little shading areas, like where all those little hash mark lines are. That's where the artist is telling you, hey, this is going to be darker. Make sure you add some extra shading here. So I'm going to make sure that on all those little marks, I'm going to add some extra shading. But I'm also going to go along all the little cactus lines, or some of them, and just make sure that I'm highlighting those too, because you know, cactuses are like odd shaped round parts. They kind of stand out a little bit. So I just want to make sure they're a little bit extra shading on this. So now I'm just going to go in with my light and I'm just going to go over everything. I don't want to blend it too, too much because I really want those, those dark lines to really stand out. So I'm just really just filling this in just like that. And if you feel like it's blended out a little too much, you can always go back in with your dark, just add a few more darker lines. It's a really simple image. You don't have to take too much care to color it too too detailed it's a really small image i am going to take my um light pool party though and what i'm going to do with this and i'm not even sure it's going to show up on the camera but it really makes a difference in person is i'm just going to go around the outside of the image with my light pool party i'm not doing anything but really just going around the outside of the image i'm not blending i'm not doing anything but just that little hint of blue on the outside of that, on the outside of the image, just really makes it pop more. So, okay, so that is it for now with our blends. And we're going to just start assembling because this card is so quick and easy. So I'm going to use some snail. I do have snail. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pull in, I'm going to pull this in because I can't do black on black. So I'm just going to line this up. Really cute. So, so cute. Okay, we're going to glue our DSP piece on. Oh no, we'll see. Might not last. And we're going to glue this on again. I'm just going to use that card base just to hold my black piece because I just don't want to do black on black. We're just going to line that up. Just that little hair of a border around. Really small. This is going to go right onto our card base. And I want to do kind of equal borders around the top, bottom, and the left side. It's not going to be centered, but I just want to make sure that these three borders look kind of the same. Okay, so cute. So we have our pieces. We're going to use some dimensionals. Of course, let me grab those. And we're going to stick down our, our granny apple green embossed piece with that stone embossing folder. Beautiful. It wasn't even, I didn't even, the first time I went through the celebration catalog, I didn't even see it. So make sure you don't miss it. It's toward the back. Okay, we're going to set this on our card base. And we want, on the right side, we just want that kind, same kind, you know, border. So the green piece is going to overlap that DSP a little bit. But we want that same, that same width border on this side. Okay? So cute. Oh, you guys. Oh, my gosh. We forgot to add our baker's twine. Oh, my gosh. Clearly... Clearly, I'm not ready to return to stamping. Oh my goodness. All right, while I'm taking this apart, while I'm deconstructing my card, I do want to also tell you there is still time to sign up for my paper share. You can um, sign up. Let me grab these off. Holy moly. I'm a hot mess. This is how I normally stamp, though, guys. I normally have to take my card apart about five times before it's final. Um, my paper share, though, it is It's going to be so much fun. You get a quarter of a package of every single sheet of DSP. It's only $25. And um, if it's eight, an additional $8 if you need it shipped to you. But it is fantastic. So you can message me if you want details on that. You get, oh, I don't know. You get a ton of DSP, though. It's it's pretty amazing DSP, too. This, this catalog has some incredible DSP. I cannot wait to use more of it. Okay. I'm tying a knot before I tie my bow because I know that I can't tie a bow with this. 
So now that that's like a knot, I'm gonna just kind of try to adjust this a little bit. And I wrapped it around three times. I don't know if you saw that. And I'm tying, making sure that my bow is more to the right side of my piece. Okay. I cannot believe I didn't forgot to add that. I'm making a nice big bow too. I want a nice big bow. Okay. Let me trim it. Okay. Now let's try to adhere it again to our card. Okay. We need a couple more dimensionals. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. I know you guys have done that too, so it's okay. All right. Back to adhering it. Again, we want that same border. Okay. I think we're good. All right. We're going to go back to this piece now, our stamped piece. I'm going to put dimensionals only on the left side. I'm going to put a couple of them on the left side and then I'm gonna put just some snail adhesive oh my gosh I can't pick it up some snail adhesive on the right side because uh, this is gonna rest on this piece and so we want it all one level this is gonna go on just like this nice and straight perfect and that bow is just gonna go right up against it so cute okay let's get to our final finishing touches here so I have, let me tell you what I have. I have some rhinestones and then I have some sequins. These are from the Gingham Gala sequins. This is in the annual catalog. And then I also have the frosted flowers and these are also in the annual catalog. I'm going to take my um, dark flirty flamingo marker because I wanted these flowers to just be a little bit darker. And I tried coloring just the white one with the dark marker and it still wasn't quite dark enough for what I wanted. So I went to the petal pink one and I'm gonna color on top of it with that dark flirty flamingo marker. And it, it doesn't color too, too much, but it is going to just make it just a little bit darker. You can go over it a few times, just making sure I get those sides. We're basically just turning our petal pink frosted flower into a flirty flamingo flower. So you can see the difference. You can see the difference in that. It's just a little bit brighter. It's going to coordinate with our card a little bit better. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to lift that off and because it's an alcohol marker. The blends are alcohol markers. It's going to dry pretty quickly. So move that out of the way. We'll pull our card in and I'm just going to lay that down just right on that cactus right there. Okay. I'm going to give that a second and I'm going to come in with my sequins and I'm going to add a few little sequins. I'm going to use the round ones. You could also use the um, little flower ones. That's fine too. I love these gingham gala ones. They're so pretty. So one up there. They already have adhesive on the back, so you're just really just lifting and sticking, which is fantastic. I'm using three. You can use as many as you want. And let me see. Let's go right here. That's good. Okay. Now our little rhinestone fell off of our other one, so I think I'm going to use just a little dot of liquid glue. But I really wanted something in the middle of that frosted flower. It just didn't look finished to me. So I'm just going to use just a tiny little dot of just the liquid glue. The flower kind of like caves in in the center. So the, the little rhinestone doesn't have something to grab onto. So with that extra glue on here, I think that'll hold it down a little bit better. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that's on there. Perfect. Isn't that cute? Such a cute card and so simple. And you can use any of the images for this. Just change up the colors a little bit. And this would be such a cute card to mail to anybody. You can make a whole stack of these. Give them away as New Year's gifts. But isn't that cute? And that embossing folder, you guys, isn't that gorgeous? And you'd never know that I took this card apart to fix my mistake, right? <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for me. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you need to place an order, head to my online store. Use this host code if your order is under 150. If it's over 150, you're going to get hostess or stamp and reward benefits. So don't use the host code if it's over 150. Remember that the mini catalog and celebration catalog goes live on Friday. And I will be back on my business page on Friday at 10 a.m. with some more amazing projects from the mini catalog. So don't miss it then. Um, until then, you guys have a very happy New Year's and um, be safe and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.